Yo, what is going on guys? It's JD here, back with another 2K video. Now, as you can see on your screen, we are going to be doing this one on 2K MT Central. This is going to be the OP Amethyst squad. Now, I don't have the MT to make this squad, guys, so I can't do it on actual 2K, but, but I have played with a lot of the players at different individual times, so I do know what I'm talking about, and I've got some of your guys' suggestions from Twitter for the players, so enough talking, let's just jump into it. So we're going to start with the bench here guys, and off the bench at the point guard spot, it's going to be this Terrell Brandon. Now, this guy is so quick and so underrated. He is a bit short, I think he's under 6 foot, but he can actually dunk it down pretty well. He's got a great free ball, he's quick as you'd expect from a short player, and he's just an all-round beast. He's solid on defence as well, and I'm pretty sure he's quite cheap. I'm not sure what he's going for at the moment, but when he was first in packs, he was like 20k, so definitely one for you budget ballers out there. And then let's move on to the shooting guard position, which is going to be none other than Kobe Bryant. So this card, so many people have used this card throughout the year. When he was out in packs, he was so common. He was literally in everybody's squads. He was everywhere. He's got some nasty dunks in his dunk package. He's got a sort of okay three ball. It's a little bit inconsistent, but if you can time it right, you're going to nail it. And offensively, he is just an absolute machine. It's amazing at driving to the rim, as you'd expect from a Kobe Bryant card. So Kobe is in there at the backup shooting guard. And then next to him at the small forward position off the bench is going to be Amethyst LeBron James. So a LeBron card with an 84 three ball, I mean, that's just ridiculous. So he's got to have a place on this team. It's a LeBron card. You know how good it's going to be. Driving to the rim, dunking, just brilliant and amazing on defense with great physical stats. So LeBron's in there. He's quite cheap. I believe he's about 40k. Definitely not going to break the bank for him. So that's a nice addition at the small forward position. We are going to have the notorious hidden pink diamond, Spencer Haywood. So a lot has been made about this guy that his stats are not a 92. They're actually like a 97 or 98. So before the tiers were changed, he was a hidden pink diamond. But obviously now he's just a hidden diamond. But he's still an amazing card. He's actually really consistent from three. I've had him play against me and now five out of six threes and he's got like a 70 rating so that's ridiculous but offensively he is solid and defensively he is brilliant he's a little bit undersized at 6'9 but he still grabs the rebounds which is what you need from your power forward and then off the bench out of the center position is going to be one of my favorite cards in the game this is amethyst demarcus cousins this boogie card is incredible I think he's got 99 strength, he's got a great three ball, so he can stretch the floor really well. He's got a really good release as well, and obviously in the post, he's just going to bully everyone. He is just a machine, he's an unstoppable force, and it doesn't matter who you're coming up against, he can back them down. So, Boogie Cousins, well worth 30k. And then guys, moving on to the starters, so at the one, it's going to be Stephen Curry. It was a toss up between him and Kyrie Irving, both really good cards, but this Steph is just disgusting <laughs> like the shooting stats are through the roof and this card can actually play defense which makes a change for a Steph card but this yeah he can green it from anywhere basically he might as well have Hall of Fame Limitless but <laughs> obviously he doesn't but still it's a great card it is an amazing card and I think he's about 50 to 60k at the moment so his price has come down quite a lot for an elite point guard that will win you games Next up, we've got one of my favourite players in this game. It's James Harden, the Amethyst version. Guys, when this card first came out, I picked it up for about 110k, and I ran with it for so long. And I've still, I still got his diamond card on my team at the moment because this Harden, after the upgrades he got from the Ruby version, it just took him to another level. Amazing driving and amazing shooting. This guy's release is beautiful as well. It's so nice. So James Harden, he's definitely in that team. Next to him, we've got another Warriors player. It is going to be the KD. Obviously, he's got that diamond now. But yeah, we're not about spending 500k on a single card. So, Amethyst KD is about 70k, I reckon. And uh, yeah, that card, what needs to be said about an Amethyst KD? Butter release, amazing shot, great defense because of his length, great rebounding because of his height as well. KD is just an absolute machine. And driving in the lane, yeah, <laughs> he's got that covered. So, let's move on to the powerful position which is going to be Anthony Davis. Another card with a diamond out, but the Amethyst is just as good. Obviously, a few stats are going to be lower, but these cards are still incredible. 
Anthony Davis has a great stretch four. He's got a great three ball, great mid range, and post game is brilliant. I believe his post stats are all about the 90s, so if you're good in the post with the fades, the up and unders, drop steps, this guy is your man. And then guys, we have got one of my favorite players on my team is Yao Ming. We couldn't not have this guy in here. He is just so good, he's so cheese, he's seven foot six, he's dunk on everyone, he can drop step anybody, literally anybody, and Yao is just a machine. Like, if he's in the paint, nobody is gonna score against him. I think he averages about four blocks a game for me through 30 games, so yeah. <laughs> if you drive in the lane, you're gonna get rejected. But anyway guys, that is going to be the look for the overpowered Amethyst squad. As you can see the prices there, I don't think that's accurate though, so I believe this squad would probably cost you about, probably about 300k to be honest. I don't think it would be expensive as 323k. For a budget that much, if you can get a team like this, that's pretty good going. So anyway guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. I'm sorry it's not on 2k, but I don't really want to have to buy all of these players just to put them in there, to then sell them back and lose money, so... That's why that happened, but anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace!